Hello everyone, back. welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiara, aka Bookworm Babe. Today I thought it would be really fun to do a little like bookshelf tour and as well like a little tour of all my plants because if you have maybe seen one or two of my videos and you've looked or like noticed in the back of my like you know in the back of me where my shelf is and stuff I do have um quite a bit of plants and stuff like that so I don't know while we're all here and inside I thought it would be fun to just take you guys into you know my space which is right over here and show you guys the things that I have. So if you're interested in seeing my shelf and interested in seeing my plants, if you're a plant person like me, then stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so let's get this tour started. This is my bookshelf. So from the very top and all the way to the bottom. This is basically my book space, and I'll start from the top and work my way down. So at the very top, I have a really big cork board that I had got from like Staples or something, and I love pins, but they're so expensive and it kills me because all of the best shops that I seem to find, at least like for me personally, are in the US. And I'm from Canada, so US and um canadian conversion sucks but these are the pins that i have i have like sonic rick and morty spyro um sailor moon kingdom hearts uh easy e goofy movie some pins here another sailor moon uh etc etc animal crossing duh <laughs> but yeah those are all the pins that i have eventually my plan is to fill that bo um that entire board but it's probably gonna take a while um but yeah those are the pins that i have up there and you know i will keep collecting then on my first shelf at the top here i have a collection of cameras so first right here we've got an instax mini 8 um, I had got this maybe two or three years ago when I started college, roughly, and um, I don't necessarily use it super often, but I feel like it's just like a classic and necessary thing to have. So I decorated a little with some Kirilla Kuma stickers, and right now it has black and white film in it, which I'm trying to like save for something like fun and interesting to do, but we'll see. And then I have a Sailor Moon tiara. I got this like two years ago at Hot Topic. It was like an in-store exclusive and I don't cosplay or anything but for some reason I felt like I needed this so I bought it. Then I have a Polaroid, a vintage like I guess you could say like the 80s Polaroid basically and one of these cannons as well. So the Polaroid doesn't work, but the cannon does. Um, when a couple, like two years ago, we cleaned out my grandmother's house and we found both of these. Um, I've shot with the cannon a little bit. It does have film in it, but it hasn't, I haven't developed any of the pictures that I shot in it yet, but it's a really nice camera. And this, um, I'm holding on to it. I feel like it's just a really good collectible as well and maybe one day I'll try to figure out how to get it to work because I it doesn't as far as I know right now. Oh and these right here are just two little ornaments that I made from polymer clay because I also do polymer clay. So yeah fun fact. And then there's like two DSLRs here. One's a Sony, one's a Nikon. The Nikon is my boyfriend's and I borrow it because the Sony one that I have it basically like it's just it sucks I'm like I, I for the most part I understand my settings and no matter what I set it to the pictures just don't turn out right but the Nikon is just great so I borrow that and I've got that on the shelf so yeah that is our top shelf right here and then moving down to the next this is a shelf that's got some books and some other little mementos so for the most part I try to organize my books by color so I have I know some of them right off the bat you can tell are not in order but you know just allow me but for the most part we've got like the orangey reds yellows blues some more brownie yellows you know blues again a lot of blues actually you see they're in a weird order right now but I have to fix them and then more reds and I've got this little right here shark tooth 
I got this from, I want to say that it was the aquarium. I went to the aquarium last year with my mom and my brother, and I think that is where I got this sh shark tooth from. Then I have these two little elephants. Um, one I got from Chinatown here in Toronto, and this one I got from Chinatown in Montreal um, last year, I think. And this one was like years ago, I don't really remember. And then we can get into some of my plants. Yay. Um, so I have this little tree plant here. I'll be so straight. I do not know the name of every single plant that I have. So if you know, feel free to comment and tell me what like plant that it is because I don't even know. So this is one. I feel like it's like a jade or like a type of jade tree. I'm not too sure, but yeah, something like that. And then I have this one, which I love because they look, these are like very hard and they kind of look crystalled, which I think is super cool. I believe <clears throat> that it's like a Haworthia or a version of a Haworthia. Again, like I'm not sure what like sub, sub, you know, part of a Haworthia it is, but yeah. And fun fact, I painted this pot here. And I was going to paint this one like an Animal Crossing and I messed it up and then I tried to paint over it and I messed it up again. So basically, it's ugly. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> this plant here was like the first one I got to start my collection. There used to be like three more, no, two more here. These are like the stems and they died. I overwatered it and they died. But these little three here are surviving this... I got this plant on buns, and I'm, I'll be honest, I'm kind of sad, because it used to look, like, the whole pot used to be so full, and it looked so nice, and now it looks, you know, like death, but, yeah. <laughs> I swear I've gotten way better at taking care of my plants than with this one. And right over here, this was a miniature kit that I got from banggood.com. It is so freaking cute. I saw it in a YouTube video from um, Macaroon and yeah, like I just, I had to buy it. They're super cheap. Even in Canadian dollars, it was only like $13, I think. And shipping was maybe like a dollar. So I mean, I bought like three of them. I just haven't done the other two kits, but since we're in quarantine, I plan to do them. But you can see all the details of it. Let me like, there we go, focus. They're so cute. So it's like the two bunnies and they're a couple. And the girl right here is Bella and the boy is Harry. And on this side, it has like the cutest little poem. And it's in a tin. It's so cute. And it does light up if you like flick the switch under here. This part usually covers it, but my tape is falling out. And, oh, here's, like, these two little matching good luck kitties that I also got from Chinatown in Montreal. And then I have this vacation dreams jar, and I put a few stones that I had got um, last year when I went to Jamaica on vacation. And I always throw my little travel wishes and stuff in, on uh, paper in this jar. And, okay, let me try to get rid of this glare. Oh my god, okay, that's annoying. So... This Barbie right here, I'm just gonna like zoom into her. Okay, there. So this Barbie right here, fun story. I used to work at Toys R Us when I was in college and I used to see this Barbie and I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. I feel like if I was a Barbie, this would be me as a Barbie. And like last year, I think it was, I was telling my mom and then she ended up buying me the Barbie. So yeah, she's part of my collection on this wall now. <laughs> it's what I think of myself if I was a Barbie, you know? And moving down, we've got this shelf right here. This is probably my favorite shelf. <laughs> so I have my salt lamp. I've got more books, color coordinated. My color coordination is way better, way, way, way better on this shelf. I have another collectible. This one's a Tokidoki collectible, and her name is Chocotella. Um, I got this one for Christmas, and my mom got it for me because she knows how much that I like chocolate and donuts. So... <laughs> she got me that and then I have this really cute little gold basket that I got from the dollar store Literally it was like a dollar fifty or something or maybe two fifty But cute stuff for cheap and I keep a bunch more plants in it And I feel like it just adds to the decor and makes it look cuter so This is a succulent of some sort. I don't know the name but it is <laughs> 
This is also just your classic succulent. Again, I don't know the name, but if you guys know specific names, I beg you, please, please tell me what it is. This is also a Haworthia type, but I don't know specifically what type of Haworthia it is. Then I've got one of these plants. No clue what the name is, but you can see it has these little like suction cuppy ends and I thought it was so cool. So I had to have one of these. And then there's this one right here, which is sort of like a cactus, but, or like a type of cactus, cause it does have like these little thorns at the edge, but they don't really hurt that much, but it was really cool. Then, oh, I have this little family of jade elephants. This was also from um, Chinatown in Montreal. When I had went last year, I had found these, those little cats and the elephant that I showed you guys on the upper shelf and I couldn't resist them, so my boyfriend had bought them for me. God bless him. And here I have a moon cactus. I totally love her. She is so pretty. I named her Fuchsia Rain because <laughs> I felt like it was so fitting and her top part is like literally is fuchsia so that's her name and she's got all these little sprouts on her so I don't know I might try to might try to do something with those one of these days but I also don't want to accidentally kill her so yeah but that's this shelf <laughs> it's it's my favorite shelf um on the entire bookshelf and do 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 moving down this shelf is a little less exciting i have so this binder here has all my animal crossing amiibo cards i have an empty portfolio that i was planning to fill with photography projects this year but quarantine um a sketchbook my journal this goofy movie um it looks like a vhs but it's actually a notebook i'll show you guys oh wait that was the damn expensive ass price but it is the cutest thing in the whole wide world the goofy movie is one of my favorite disney movies ever let me know if it's also yours or what your favorite movie is but yeah it's mine this is one of my baby picture albums this is where i keep all of my crochet hooks i also crochet and yes i made this case um here's my Here's my case, and that's what it looks like. It was a DIY project. I am very proud of it because I only learned how to crochet back in, like, November. So, yeah. This little thing here is where I keep a bunch of paint. I've got a little um, display board with a picture of me in Jamaica. My hair was so long last year when I went, so that's why I put that picture of me there. <laughs> yeah. And let's take a moment to look at my lithops. I love, 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 love lithops, guys. They're so weird. Like, look at these. They're so freaking weird. But I think they're so cool. Basically, when they sprout out of the last layer, they're supposed to then sprout a flower. So I'm waiting for that to happen. I love these. I think they're so, so cool. And I don't know. They're, they're like, so weird, but so cool. Then I have this aloe plant here. This was a set of three plants. There was one here, one here, and the aloe. My boyfriend got me this for my birthday last year, and the other two died. Oh, yeah, I also have these little Totoro figurines. There's, like, two more, but they're, like, buried now. But, um, yeah, this one was the survivor, and he's gotten quite big and needs to get repotted, and I actually have a pot. He's going to move into this nice little marble pot that I also got from the dollar store. On oh, God, guys get things from the dollar store you will save so much money and they have cute stuff you just have to find it but yeah more books a little bit of lacking the color um coordination but i'm working on it slowly but surely and another elephant if you haven't noticed i love elephants they're one of my favorite um animals and because of everything that they symbolize and stuff i like to keep a lot of them in my room and then wait for it here's our last shelf I have this whole bag here, which is full of yarn and everything, <laughs> all my crochet supplies. And so this last shelf basically has a mix of books and um, it's sort of like, you know, my adulthood books as well as my childhood books. So I have here are like magazines um, from when I was in college. I used to write for my school magazine. Then I have Dragonology, Egyptology, a big book of like Mickey Mouse stories, a Looney Tunes one, because I loved, I was obsessed with these two when I was a kid, up until probably like 12. I just looked at them religiously. I love anything 
um, ancient Egyptian related or dragon related. <laughs> so yeah, that is why I have that. My yearbooks from high school, gross. I have Neopet magazines. <laughs> <laughs> love those Rick and Morty some more big novels and stuff like that back here is like does anyone remember those little golden books and then those like I don't really want to pull it all out but maybe you guys can see it all those Disney books that were in a huge collection when we were kids like maybe 90s early 2000s folks yeah I have a lot of those I also have comics I have Sonic and I think there's some Archie or maybe there isn't no they're Okay, I lied. Maybe there isn't. There's Wayside School. Who else read Wayside School? Those are awesome. Love them. And I do have some more. Like, see, like, this area here? There's some more, like, classic Sonic um, comics from, like, 2001, 2002. I love Sonic. Love, love, love. And, oh, yeah. And then I have this right here. This is my little um, book book sleeve that I use when I'm like going out and I'm taking a book with me. I put my books in here because I hate books when they get damaged. But yeah. Oh, and I do have a weight right here. It's a 15 pound weight. Yep. Oh yeah. I borrowed this from my boyfriend because I do not want to get fat in quarantine. <laughs> so yeah, that is what we've got as for the shelf. And here's another look at it. And I do have, um, three more plants that are on my desk, which I will show you guys as well. So we're going to transition over to my desk. Right here, I have this little cactus that has, I don't know, I've seen people call these like bunny cactuses because of the little like sprouts. They look like ears and stuff. Um, I got this on buns. I thought it was so, so cute. And somebody traded it for me, traded it with me for some, I had some beeswax from like a failed attempt at trying to make lip balm. And it was a great trade because I really wanted a cactus at the time and I didn't have one. I love, 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 love this one. It's kind of like the little spikes are almost like furry in a way. And yeah, it's just, it's such a cute little like cactus. <laughs> on over here. So this is like just on top of a little drawer storage thing that I have to keep all my art supplies in. So I have this other cactus as for what genre of cactus it is. I have no idea, but it has these crazy spikes on it, and oh my god, you guys, I can't even tell you how many times I have poked my finger on this cactus. Sometimes I just want to, like, touch it because it's cool, but I'll touch it a little too, like, I'll put my hand in too quick and accidentally end up, like, hitting it on the spikes, and, and they hurt. Like, they really do, and I know that sounds so stupid, like, if you know it hurts, why do you keep poking it, but I can't help it. I do it. But this guy is so cool. And these pots got stuck together for some reason, so he's just double cupped. And then I have a little baby snake plant right here. Um, True say the store that I got them from, <laughs> the big ones were like $30 and I didn't want to pay that much. So I was like, you know what? I'll get a baby and nurse it into a big one. I love, 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 love snake plants, especially when they get big. So I think it'll be really fun to watch this guy grow and turn into, you know, a nice big sturdy plant and maybe if it gets really really big then I can put them on the floor or something but I'm sure that's gonna take a couple years so hey no rush on growing my guy and yeah so that is basically the end of the plant. So that is the end of the tour those are my books those are my plants um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that you maybe, like, thought it was cool or thought some of the stuff was cool. Let me know if you also have, like, a big plant collection or let me know how you organize your books and stuff like that. I would certainly love to know. And please, 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 if you guys know what some of these plants are, like, the names of them, please tell me because, like, I don't know. And I try to Google them sometimes, but I feel like my Google searches are so odd. They don't make sense. So, yeah, if you know, then let me know. And I will see you guys next week in my next video. Bye!